translated from the NA27, or actually NA25, I think the last one was 26. But the point is that the differences in readings oh. would be less than you have if you're sitting there with a King James versus a New American Standard. Would that be correct? I don't know. I've never, I've never actually thought about it. I mean, it seems to me it would make a big difference whether you want to say Jesus got angry at a leper or whether he loved him. I mean, it seems pretty significant. Okay, and looking at that particular, particular one, um, you, you do believe that uh, Orgus Theis is the original there? Uh, that's right. Uh, would you comment on what has been said by uh, Dr. Parker, for example, uh, where he says the more he's studied uh, Codex Beze Cantabrigensis, the more he's become convinced that its unique readings, uh, especially when they're alone, are insignificant if you're searching for the original uh, reading, uh, or Dr. Allen's assertion that any of the readings of Beze, when they do not have earlier attestation, uh, should be uh, looked at uh, somewhat askance. Yeah, well, Allen doesn't like uh, Codex Beze. Uh, Parker loves Codex Beze, but he does have the suspicion about it. But I, I believe Parker agrees with me on Mark 141, doesn't he? I have no idea what he says about 141. Yeah, he didn't comment on it in Codex Beze, in his book on it. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a great book. But I think that he agrees with me on Mark 141. However, is it not true that Scrivener, uh, Metzger, in the book you have right there, and commenting on Beze, they all recognize that Codex Beze is incredibly free Oh, yeah. In no, I, I think so, too. I think a lot of its variants, in fact, are very strange indeed. Uh, so it just shows that how early manuscripts differ so widely from one another. This is a case in point. So if uh, Codex Beze adds all sorts of commentary, the number of steps Paul stepped down, uh, the time frame when he, he, he lectured at, uh, in, in Acts, all these things are added, uh, why wouldn't it be more likely... Uh, given that there is no earlier manuscript support for that reading, that the writer of Codex D saw the very same strong language that you yourself have pointed to in your argumentation. He casts him out. Uh, he strongly upbraids him and made a change, as he did in so many other places in, in his yeah, writings. Well, that's, that's, that's a standard argument. That's what people have said for years, and I, I disagree with it. I think that, in fact, on internal grounds, uh, there, there are solid reasons for saying, thinking that it was Orgus Thais. Uh, my principal readings has no, my principal reasoning has nothing to do with the value of Codex Bize, uh, as you probably know. I mean, you've read my articles on it, so mm -hmm. uh, uh, I assume you've read my article on Mark 141. I have. Uh, so that isn't. It, it's not. I mean, Codex Bize is uh, to to some extent neither here nor there. It provides us with the reading, but it isn't the strong argument for the reading being original. Okay, and would that be one of the readings that you, you feel changes the entire meaning of a book? Um, well, no, I, I wouldn't put it that way with that reading. I would say that that reading provides a different nuance. Jesus gets angry a couple of times in the Gospel of Mark, and it's, it's interesting to, to try and see why he gets angry in the Gospel of Mark, and this would be another place where he gets angry in Mark. I mean, it, strikes, it struck most scribes as a little bit odd for him to get angry at this point, and this leper comes up and wants to be healed, and it says Jesus got angry. And so, uh, well, yeah, that's a little hard to figure out. No wonder they changed it to he felt compassion for the man. I mean, it makes sense that they would make the change but um, in fact it probably said he got angry and then the task of the exegete the interpreter is to try and uh, make sense of why it is uh, now it says uh, that Jesus got angry when this leper approached him and so it 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 changes the meaning of the book to the extent that it gives you a fuller understanding of why Jesus gets angry in the Gospel of Mark. By the way, he doesn't get angry in Matthew or Luke. 